In this video, I'll be showing you how to work Arcade Stitch, which is a pattern which creates this beautiful series of arches, and it's made up from a combination of single and double crochet stitches and chain spaces. And today we'll be using a five millimeter rosewood crochet hook and a ball of our shiny happy cotton yarn in nude pink. Let's get started. To work in arcade stitch, you will need to work a foundation chain of a multiple of six chain stitches plus one extra chain stitch to complete the pattern. First, you will need to work a setup row. So, make one chain stitch. This is your turning chain. So wrap the yarn around the hook, put it through. Now you will work two stitches in single crochet. So insert your hook, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, yarn over the hook again, and pull it through. Just a normal single crochet stitch, and then repeat that once more. So that's two single crochet stitches. Now make three chain stitches and skip the next three stitches of your foundation row. So chain one, two, three, and then skip one, two, three, and then work three single crochet stitches into the next three stitches. So. so now you're going to continue repeating, making three chain stitches, skipping three stitches, and then working three single crochet stitches. And you'll repeat that until you have five stitches left of your row. So chain one, two, three, skip one, two, three, and then work three single crochet stitches. One, two, three. So repeat that right across your row. We're just doing a small sample today. So I'm now at the point where I have five stitches left. So make three chain stitches. One, two, three. Skip the next three stitches and then work the final two stitches in single crochet. One, two. So once you've completed your setup row, it should look something like this. Now that you've completed your setup row, it's time to work the pattern rows, uh, which consist of four rows which will be repeated so you continue working in arcade stitch. So to work pattern row one, make one chain stitch. This is your turning chain. Now work seven stitches in double crochet into the next chain space. So that's here. So wrap your yarn once around your hook, Insert your hook into the chain space, wrap it around your hook again, pull it through, yarn over your hook again and put it through the first two stitches, yarn around your hook again and put it through those final two stitches. So that's your first double crochet stitch worked into the chain space and repeat those steps six times more so that you have seven double crochet stitches in total. So this is number two. Three, four, five, six, seven. 
So there you've completed your seven double crochet stitches into the chain space. And now you're going to skip the next stitch and then work one stitch in single crochet. So skip this stitch and then work a single crochet stitch into this position here. Like so. And now you're going to repeat working seven double crochet stitches into the chain space and then one single crochet stitch into the next position to continue working this row. And you repeat those steps until you reach the end of your row. So seven double crochet stitches into the chain space. So that's seven double crochet stitches in the chain space. Skip the next stitch and then work a single crochet stitch. And then seven double crochet stitches again into the following chain space. So you've got seven double crochet stitches in the chain space and then finish your row by working a single crochet stitch into the final stitch. So this is what your piece will look like after you've completed pattern row one of Arcade Stitch. Next you will start by making four chain stitches and this works as your turning chain and also your first chain space. One, two, three, four. And now you will skip your first three stitches and then work three single crochet stitches. So you chained one, two, three, four, skip one, two, three, and then single crochet three. One, two, three. Next, you will make three chain stitches and skip the next five stitches. So chain one, two, three, skip one, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet three stitches. One, two, three. And you'll keep repeating, making three chain stitches, skipping five stitches and working three stitches in single crochet until you have two stitches left of your row. So chain one, two, three, skip one, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet. So once you've got to the point where you have two stitches left of your row 
make one chain stitch and then work one stitch in double crochet into the final stitch of your row. So this is what your arcade stitch piece should look like once you've completed pattern row two. Now you're ready to work pattern row three. So begin by making three chain stitches. This is your turning chain. One, two, three. Now you will work three double crochet stitches into this first chain space. One, oops, two, three. Next, you will skip the next stitch and work one stitch in single crochet. So skip this stitch and then single crochet into this stitch here. Now you will work seven double crochet stitches into the following chain space. One, Two, And finally, seven. So once you've worked your seven double crochet stitches into that chain space, you will now skip the next stitch and work one stitch in single crochet. Like so. And you will continue working seven double crochet stitches into each following chain space and then skipping one stitch and working one single crochet stitch um, right across your row until you have three stitches and a chain space left of your row. So seven double crochet stitches into the next chain space. So continue doing those steps until you have three stitches and a chain space left, and that's the case here. Skip the next stitch and work one stitch in single crochet. And now you're going to finish off pattern row three by working four stitches in double crochet into this final chain space here. And so once you've completed pattern row three of arcade stitch, this is what your piece will look like. To begin working your fourth and final pattern row of the arcade stitch sequence, 
make one chain stitch and this is your turning chain. Now work two stitches in single crochet. Once you've done those two stitches, make three chain stitches. One, two, three. Skip the next five stitches and then work three stitches in single crochet. So skip one, two, three, four, five, and then work three single crochet stitches. One, three. Now keep on repeating those steps until you have six stitches left of your row. So make three chain stitches, skip the next five stitches and then work three stitches in single crochet. Chain one, two, three, skip five, single crochet one two three so once you've worked all the way across your row and you have six stitches left make three chain stitches one two three Skip one, two, three, four, five, and then work one stitch in single crochet into the final stitch of your row. So once you've worked pattern row four of arcade stitch, your piece should look something like that. And if you continue to repeat the four pattern rows across your piece, you'll end up with something that looks more like this. And that's the arcade stitch.